Right, hey guys, it's Mario Fan 520 and um, you might notice that I'm outside right now. Um, I'm actually walking, currently walking home from school right now. Um, I've been like busy just doing a lot of things, sort of school-wise and other things-wise. But today I just decided to do a movie review outside while I'm walking, and I decided to talk about a film that is actually known to be sort of one of the influential horror movies technically out there and i wouldn't say it's one of the best but it is a really effective horror movie for its time the hills have the hills have eyes so the hills have eyes was a film that was released in 1977 i believe and was directed by wes craven the master one of the masters of horror technically his films like A Nightmare on Elm Street, Red Eye, The People Under the Stairs. A lot of his horror, his directed movies and horror movies really are good or great. They are really enjoyable. And The Hills Have Eyes are just one of his movies to absolutely praise. So this film revolves around a family who are headed to California or some other state, I believe. And they run across a, they come across a family of cannibals that are attacking them in the middle of the desert. The Hills Have Eyes is a very effective horror film. I absolutely think this film is really good. There are a lot of things to like about this film. This film does have issues though. It is not a great horror movie in my opinion, but it is a very effective and good horror movie. Um, I would consider it one of Wes Craven's best films. I wouldn't say it's like as great or as good as films like A Nightmare on Elm Street or Scream or maybe even pe The People Under the Stairs, but I think it's a very good movie that a lot of horror fans will praise and enjoy because it has a lot of things to like in to like about horror movies and movies like this. The atmosphere that's brought into this movie is really good it's not like a texas chainsaw massacre atmosphere because in my opinion the atmosphere in the texas chainsaw massacre was masterfully well done by toby hooper toby hooper and this film the atmosphere keeps it at a fine enough level um the pacing sometimes does suffer in this movie and i think that has to do with how the story is tell told and some of the characters in this movie well the majority of the characters actually they're not that interesting but i will have to say this about the acting the acting in this movie is top notch great acting great performances in this movie a lot of things look absolutely realistic in this movie and that's what i loved about the hills have eyes a lot of things in this movie were very realistic just like the texas chainsaw massacre but the only difference is the texas chainsaw massacre when you watch that film that film is over 110% realistic. Everything in that film just absolutely disturbs you. The Hills Have Eyes knows how, is just a horror film that knows how to bring realism and suspense. It's not really tension, but it does bring enough suspense to shock its audience in, in some moments of the film. I'll have to say this though, The Hills Have Eyes does a really good job on setting the tone of this film and the suspense. Not really tension wise, but the suspense in this film when stuff do kick in. Like I said, everything looks realistic in this film. And those are one of the things that I absolutely praise about The Hills Have Eyes because a lot of things in this movie are just absolutely realistic and chilling. And most of that has to do with how the story goes. Most of the most most of the time the story does go, go does go to a perfectly good level. And the acting in this movie. Like I said, the acting in this movie is top notch. One of the best actors in this film, in my opinion, is definitely Dee Wallace, who was in films like Cujo, which is a Stephen King adaptation, which is another horror film I'll be reviewing very soon. Her performance is really good in this movie, and honestly, the performances are the things that carry the movie. Because like I said, this entire film revolves around cannibalized people going after innocent and hopeless people, and... If the tone of realism didn't fit in this film, the whole project probably would have failed, but this movie knows how to create legitimate realism, and that's one of the things that I love about The Hills Have Eyes. The makeup and the costumes and how everything's set up for these cannibalized people are absolutely on point. The makeup effects and the costume designings are absolutely great and chilling. 
Some of the best parts of the Hills Have Eyes are the suspenseful moments. When the suspense moments kicks kick in, and when the cannibals are attacking these individual in, in these individuals in the middle of the desert, one of the things that I absolutely love about those moments is that there is a lack of music in those scenes because the suspense is absolutely on point. And the things that I love about another thing that I love about the Hills Have Eyes is that it basically the entire film revolves around technically mysterious disasters throughout this entire runtime of the film. Especially with these with this in in particular family who are in the middle of the desert not knowing that there are cannibals out there that are supposedly after them. And the mindset of that is really interesting and it makes the film really fun to watch. And most of the time, the film does slow pace, which, are, which is one of my flaws that I have with this movie. And my other issue that I have with this movie is the characters, they're not really interesting, but the acting is really top-notch in this film. The, the storytelling does suffer because there are dull moments. I'm going to be honest, there are some dull moments in The Hills Have Eyes. And I think that has to do with the story just running out of ideas a little bit and just going for random things sometimes and the characters are not interesting but overall the hills have eyes is a really good watch it's a really good horror movie it is not one of the best it's a classic it really is it's a cult classic it's one of the definitions of a cult classic in my opinion but it's not a masterpiece one of the best shots in this entire film is the opening of the movie where the score starts playing and the camera paves through the mountainous regions and you hear like coyotes howling in the background while the music's playing and the camera's scrolling through the mountain regions. That's a really, really well paced and directed scene. Honestly, one of the best moments in the entire movie and when the credits start rolling, the creepy score. A lot of things in The Hills Have Eyes are really set up really well done. And the thing about Wes Craven's direction in this film and all of his films is that his style of directions and directing his iconic films are just so memorable. They, like films like A Nightmare on Elm Street are so memorable. Scream is so memorable. The Hills Have Eyes has even, The Hills Have Eyes has even remained memorable. But not as memorable as the other two films that I mentioned. But Wes Craven has styles, his own styles, in all of his movies that he makes. And it's just so interesting to watch The Hills Have Eyes and notice that because there are a lot of memorable and a, a lot of memorable scenes in The Hills Have Eyes and a lot of things to like about this movie. Even though this movie does have some major flaws, there's a lot of things to like about this movie. The Hills Have, ha, ha, the Hills Have Eyes is an influential horror classic. It's not a masterpiece, but it's one of Wes Craven's best films, definitely. And it deserves a spot in the cult classic horror uh, category and stuff like that. The Hills Have Eyes is a really fun watch. And I'm going to give The Hills Have Eyes a B+. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Look forward to more reviews I'll be doing on my channel. And I want to continue my series for the Super Mario Bros. Uh, show on my channel. I don't know when the next episode is going to come out, but I promise you it will come out very soon. Uh, so be patient. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the best. Love every single one of you. And as always, I am MarioFan520, and I will see you next time. Peace out.